There is a Latin phrase which is aligned with the laws of natural justice and it says Audi Alterambatem, which means let the other party or let another person be heard. But what happens when the other person is no longer alive and they are unable to speak for themselves? Well, I'm quoting these words because there is a book that has been released by Melinda Ferguson called or rather titled When Love Kills the Tragic tale of aka and anele my name is mbuisa lovila guys you're a libel source to the latest pop culture news and thank you so much for taking your precious time to join me so guys there's a book as i've said that is going to be released this april by melinda ferguson for those that do not know melinda ferguson she's a renowned south african author uh, famous for writing books surrounding controversial topics and surrounding controversial figures such as oscar and kelly kumalo now, this new book will give us an insight into Anele Dembe's life and their relationship or rather her relationship with uh, AKA, who is also no longer alive. Um, well, she has been faced with criticism to an extent that to an article that I've just read, uh, read now from The Citizen, it's revealing that she's even receiving death threats after she said that she's going to release this book. Because you're watching this video from my YouTube, okay? I'm gonna add this part. I'm gonna take it out for TikTok because you are just special, all right? Extra special. So there, if people are even tagging, guys. The Gabba brothers. They're telling the Gabba family to say, hey, deal with this woman. I don't know how the Gabba brothers now are concerned, guys, when it comes to this. People are tagging the Gabba family to say, hey, <laughs> you know what? Let us proceed. I wouldn't want to be in her shoes after this. Now, further to that, um, AKA's family is saying they're not endorsing the book. And when she tried to reach out to them, she, they declined, respectfully declined to speak or rather tell their own side. But what is also interesting is that Melinda Ferguson got a blessing from Anneli's family. Um, Anneli's father uh, also, I mean, she is revealing that at some point she had interviews with him and gave him an insight into who Anele was because there's not really much documented about her, um, unlike other people, unlike AKA, who got an opportunity even after Anele's death, he got a, a sort of a tell all exclusive and he was able to speak about you know, his side of the story and the nature of the relationship, but whereas we've never had anything surrounding Anneli. Well, some people are of the belief also that probably uh, Melinda is capitalizing or rather um, commercializing other people's pain. I don't know about that, but do certainly share your thoughts on the comment section below. There is a whole um, conversation surrounding this book. One thing I know for sure is that the more people speak about something, the more it gains momentum. And I'm sure this book will be off the shelves it will definitely be a bestseller do certainly share your thoughts on the comment section below i just want to hear from you just two thoughts do you think is it too early and is melinda um commercializing other people's pain or maybe you know what in south africa we have freedom of um of expression she should be allowed to write this book and she should be allowed to also tell another story that or rather another side that we've not had especially surrounding anel okay do certainly share your thoughts in the comment section below i love you so much and may you continue to stay blessed salute